forget the Israelites. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel as the those days, save the Lord. I will put my laws into their inward mind, into their mind, and write them in their hearts. And I will make, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. Yeah, because it was a point where the Lord said that um, we, we were no people. He said the Israelites were no people. Okay? And then the Gentiles, we know that the Israelites, because the Lord said that he was going to provoke the circumcision to jealousy by them that are called no people. The people that were called no people are the Israelites. Okay? And that's why I got Deuteronomy, we're gonna, we're gonna go get Hosea, and we're gonna get our Romans. The only people that were called no people were the Israelites. The other nations weren't called no people. They were called Moabites. They were called uh, Edomites. They were called Ishmaelites. They weren't called no people. Go ahead. This is uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 20. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. But they are a very forward generation. Now how, now this is what uh, Moses is telling Israel. And Israel, the majority of them, I guarantee that they didn't even know what Moses was saying. What well, he just said, he was gonna hide his face from them, from Israel. That means he, they, weren't, they weren't gonna dwell in the land uh, forever. There's gonna be a point when the Lord's gonna scatter them out the land. He's actually telling you that he's going to do this. Go ahead. For they are a very forward generation, children in whom is no faith. They have moved me to jealousy, which that, excuse me, they have moved me to jealousy with that which is not the most high. Yeah, with idols, okay? Go ahead. They have what, 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 Christmas, fucking Santa Claus, uh, um, a Cheshire Boyer, or a Barack Obama. You got you know, niggas call, calling him the Messiah. He's not, he not even the savior of the uh, international bankers. He, he's not their savior. Yeah. Y'all about some else, y'all going to destroy Obama and the international bankers. What? Excuse me. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. Yep. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. He said he's going to move Israel to jealousy. With those which are not a people. With those which are not a people. Not a people in the Hebrew is uh, la'ah aim or la'ah aim ya. Okay? No people or not a people. All right? But I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. With a foolish nation. Which the foolish nation were the Gentiles. Okay? Now, the foolish nation and the no people, they're the same people. The scripture just said it. Let me go on further link this up. Give me uh, Acts. Then go to Hosea. Uh, hey, go ahead. So, John 11, verse 49. And one of them named Caiaphas, being the high priest, that same year said unto them, Ye know nothing at all, nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people and that the whole nation perish not. And this spake he not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that the whole shot should die for that nation, and not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad. Yeah, the eth ethnos. Okay, ethnos. All right? And it was prophesied that the Israelites we're going to be called that. Read that. Go ahead, read that again. Genesis 28 and 3. Go ahead. And the Lord Almighty bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply okay. thee. That, that, that was a promise given to Jacob, okay? So that promise fell on the 12 tribes of Israel. The promise is belong to Israel. What? And multiply thee that thou mayest be a multitude of people. Multitude of peoples, okay? That's plural. You look it up. And the word there in the Greek is ethnon, okay? It's a root word of ethnon, it's ethnos, all right? So the, the, the ethnos are the Israelites. Ethnon are the Israelites. Acts 13 and, um, that's just got a couple of verses up. The other nations, you're not, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. The kingdom 
it's gonna be established in the name of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. The twelve, uh, I believe, the gates or pillars that are gonna be set up in the kingdom, they're gonna be according to the names of Israel, not according to the names of uh, Edom. And Edom can't be. Edom's not gonna be forgiven. There's no way Edom's gonna be forgiven. The scriptures say that Edom, Esau, is gonna be burnt up. So how is John 3.16 talking about all the nations on the earth, literally? So John 3.16 is referring to the Israelites that are scattered throughout the whole world. I want to make a quick point. I was, uh, was just reading uh, John 11 verse 49 to 52, and it said uh, that whole nation, it says, verse 50, not consider, nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for, for the people, and that and that for the whole nation perish not. This whole nation is talking about Israel. The, the word nation is uh, ethnos. So that word nation is not also specifically towards the Gentiles, but also Israelites too. And the Gentiles, the brothers get into are Israelites, okay? So you can't say automatically that the word Gentile is automatically for a Hebrew. Yeah, kind of, well, Genesis 10 chapter proves, you, proves that. Okay? And the, and the chosen line came out of uh, Shem. Okay? And it said that Shem uh, was a Gentile. His descendants. It's uh, Acts 13 and uh, 22. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king. Soon also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, which shall fulfill, fulfill all my will. Yeah, what was that will? That will was to destroy the other nations round about the land of Israel. Okay? And that, and that was given, and that land was given to Israel by promise. The other nations don't have any part of that promise. What? So David was executing that promise that was uh, promised to his fathers. What? Of this man's seed had the Most High, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior, Yahweh Shai. Raised unto Israel a Savior, <laughs> Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. When John had first preached before his coming the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel, and as John fulfilled his course, he said, Whom you think that I am? Am I not he? But behold, there cometh one after me, whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to loose. Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you feareth the Most High. Gentiles, ethne, which are the Israelites. Go ahead. To you is the word of his salvation sent. For they that dwell at Jerusalem and their rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets, which are read every Sabbath day, they have filled them in condemning him. And though they found no cause of death in him, yet desired they, Pilate, that he should be slain. Yeah, and the Romans uh, put Yahweh Shai physically to death. The Israelites, the uh, wicked of Israel, they called for his death, but the Romans, the ones that actually scourged him, crucified him. What? And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a sepulcher. But the Most High raised him from the dead. And he was seen many days of them which came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are his witnesses unto the people. And we declare unto you glad tidings, how that the promise which was made unto the fathers, the Most High hath fulfilled the same unto us, their children, in that he hath raised up Yahweh again. And it is also written in the second psalm, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And as concerning, excuse me, and as concerning that he raised him up from the dead, now no more to return to corruption, he said on this wise, I will give you the sure mercies of David. Wherefore he saith also in another psalm, Thou shalt not suffer thine holy one to see corruption. But David, <laughs> his body didn't decompose in the earth. Okay. But David, after he had served his own generation by the will of the Most High, fell on sleep and was laid unto his fathers and saw corruption. Yeah, so he, so what he's saying is he wasn't talking about himself. Right? David wasn't talking about himself. He was talking about uh, Yahweh Shai. He was prophesying about Yahweh Shai dying and not being left in the earth, but Yahweh, Yahweh raising him up before his body decomposed and him uh, being seen by, by brothers and him going back up in, uh, to the spiritual world. Yeah. Wait. 
Verse 37, but he whom the Most High raised against saw no corruption. Yahusha. Mm -hmm. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, yep. that through his men, excuse me, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. Yeah, uh, sin is transgression of the law. Okay? So once you are born again, you gotta establish the law through faith. Alright? But, yeah, we already know it's talking about Israelites because when I started from verse 22 to 23, it mentioned that the Savior, okay, and the promise was uh, for Israel. You know, all you got to do is in verse 23 and all this whole thing is clearly talking about Israelites, man. It says, uh, verse 39, and by him... All that believe are justified from all things from which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses. Yeah, justified means the, uh, the render one to be righteous. Okay? To make to make righteous. And then go deeper, it means to keep uh, the divine laws. Read that again. Come. Verse 39. And by him, all that believe are justified from all things from which ye cannot be justified by the law of Moses. Yeah, so all them that believe. So when you believe, that Yahweh shall die for your sins, what, you're supposed to be, a, you're supposed to establish the law through faith. Beware, therefore, lest thou come upon you, excuse me, lest that come upon you which is spoken of in the prophets. Behold, he despised